Okay. Um, this is the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is October 17th. Um, on the agenda, I have our Contributor Spotlight story, um, Strengthening Community Efforts Update, DevOps Dozen Award Application, a discussion on FOSTEM, a uh, quick talk about uh, the election, where we are in progress today, and then um, a recording by Bruno. Is there anything else that we should add to the agenda? Good. All right. Um, so contributor spotlight story. So I see that Devin's story is is has been approved, Kevin. Right. And so that is slated to post on October 22nd. Um, and I know that you have a couple more stories lined up uh, for you to write. And thank you so much for doing the recording with those folks. Um, but I think we're good for at least until the end of the year. We're in October, perhaps. Yeah, yeah we're we're um right now it has and we have enough to get through the first submit or the first contributor spotlight for December. Mm -hmm. Um, so that along with the potential two week break, um, I didn't know if we were going to be adhering to that or not for in terms of the spotlight, but. Um, if we do, we have enough through the end of the year. Uh, if we did need another one for the end of the year, just that second December one, um, I'm sure we could find something or check in. With, um, someone might have more capacity once we get through October. Um, yeah. Just with the LTS release being so uh, such a heavy uh, load for the different contributors and different uh, folks working on the project that might be preventing some of them from participating in that sense. But um, yeah, for the most part we have, um, there's three, there's going to be three at least by the end of the month that, that are ready to go. So um, yeah, we've got a good amount. And uh, I have a couple more actually that I was discussing with Mark uh, that mm -hmm. I might not have shared with you yet, Alyssa. So um, we can circle, uh, we can check in after the meeting or something. I can share that list with you. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Um, so I think, so you mentioned about a break during perhaps like the, the Christmas holiday. I vote that we do take a break. And that's because, you know, um, not... A, a whole lot of eyes are going to be seeing the stories and I think it would be good for us to get as many eyeballs on it as possible and a break is always I think nice to have what does everybody else think good yeah. thumbs up yeah it makes sense okay. to me okay yeah so So yeah, then if so, then if we're taking the break, then we'll line up perfectly. We'll have enough to get through the end of the year in that case. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Um, then moving on to strengthening community efforts, Chris. So you want me to go? Yeah, I think it's fine. So. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm working on it, but um, I'm I'm being kind of slow this time, mm -hmm. so um, I was I was doing PRs maybe uh, in time, maybe after October first, and and also like uh, as a side note, uh, we we've just added um dark mode to um to contribute spotlight during October first, so mm. it's a new feature. Dark is it dark mode? Is that what? Dark mode. dark mode. Did I spell that right? No, D A R K. Dark mode. Oh, yes. dark mode. Oh, got it. Sorry, I am not hearing very well. It's not a problem. Dark. Yeah. To contribute spotlight. So now, if your system is set to be uh, using with dark mode, you will see a dark background. Got it. Okay, is that it, Chris? Anything else? Yep, that's it. 
Great. Thank you. Um, DevOps does an award. So the deadline for that is actually tomorrow. But um, since I got all the input that I needed and um, all the data that I needed, um, that was submitted. That has been submitted. So once we find out whether that we've been nominated, then um, I'll start sending out tweets and then we're going to need some uh, people to vote on it or lots of people to vote on it. So that would be the next step. Uh, for FOSTEM, so Bruno, I see that you've already started the conversation for our Contributor Summit. Um, I just want to add that the with regards to our meeting space, so what happened was I made this, I reached out to, to Beta co-worker, a uh, co-work um, some time ago, and I thought, okay, we're good, right? So we have a lot of time. So it turns out that Oracle has booked the same day at that place for most of the rooms, for most of the rooms. So now, and apparently the people that works there, I guess they go on leave. Um, so, you know, I was working, the, the, the person that John Mark worked with, she went on maternity, maternity leave. So I oh. would- think that that was a long time ago, but I guess somebody else took over. And then I worked with that person and then that person went on leave and never said anything to me. My oh my. <laughs> yeah, never, never said anything, never, you know, res responded. So I gave it like a week or two and I followed up and learned, came to find out that that person also went on leave. And then I learned that most of the rooms were booked by Oracle on that same day, right before FOSTEM. So now they are trying to find a room for us. And they're saying that they're confident that they will, they will have something for us, but I'm still, but it appears that they have to go to another level to get approval and all that good stuff. Oh. So yeah, it's, it's slower than what I had expected. <laughs> Me too. And we bribed the wrong person with the <laughs> place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. So um so it's it's slower progress than what I had hoped for. I, I was I was thinking this is a slam down Kyo. We're we're far in advance enough that um, you know, who's gonna book that far out, right? But I guess Oracle did because they want that whole space. Or I call it evil. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at least when it comes to book room that we were hoping for. Ah. We'll see. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your work, Alisa. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, definitely fingers crossed. Right now, um, they are they are giving me a positive uh, feeling about it. But on the other hand, I'm feeling a little bit nervous because why is it taking that long? Mm -hmm. Right? So... We'll see. Uh, yeah. And regarding the, the post I made in Community Jenkins IO, I went pretty mildly, uh, I would say for the time being. I did not tag anyone. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't want to sound gross. So it's just um, a post that if you are uh, subscribed to some of the topics, which are maybe community or events or something, you may have received something. But if you have not subscribed to these topics, then you won't get anything the subject has not been pinned yet i should maybe ask alex to do so because i'm not an admin i can't do that on community jenkins.io mm -hmm. and beginning of next week i will boldly tag um <laughs> jenkins officers you know the documentation yeah. officer you also uh, the infra officer and so on so we know who uh, will come and maybe what would be the subjects people would like to talk about. For the time being, I have the answer from Alexander Brandes regarding his prisons. Um, who else? Philip, Philip, also, you know, the GSOC participant from this year, oh, uh, the minor LP. Oh yeah, the Philip, yes, you're right. Yeah, and also Valentin Delay. Uh, but I think that's all that I've seen. So I have to... Uh, ring the bells um, <laughs> to get some more people to uh, say if they will come or not. I know we're not late yet. 
yeah. I saw that last year Jean Marc did that in November. But um, yeah, I, I'd like to know more about the people who come um, or not. So we know that we won't have a room for all those people. Uh, but yeah. Right. Yeah. And I think it also helps if we know whether that we can, there's a budget for us to go or not, you know, mm -hmm. that would also be very helpful. Um, yeah. So I'm hopeful. I um, There's been a discussion with, uh, well, anyway, I will go on. I won't mention anything until Mark confirms it. Um, but yes, so as for our swag that we can sell at the stand, we we're, we're in good we're in good shape with regards to that, Bruno. So apparently, CDF has a list of inventory, Jenkins and Jenkins X um, swag that they want they need to clear out of their um uh their stock house okay so, uh, um just tell me it's not uh, s xs and we have xl xxl xxxl <laughs> and so on because uh last year and the year before people were asking where is my free xl yeah <laughs> yeah it looks like we have um a variety Cool. And yeah, it looks like we have a variety, but there are some sizes that are more than others. Like there's larger quantity and, you know, so there, there was a long list. So that was good. There's lots of socks. Oh, so one size fit all. <laughs> almost. Yeah, almost. <laughs> never, right. I, I never was able to uh, have socks in conferences fit my feet. Oh no! Because, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, I have a um, gigantic feet. <laughs> that doesn't work. Oh, Bruno anyway. is very tall. I am. Uh, yeah. So I think we we're in good shape with that. Um, so they need to clear out their their warehouse at the end of the year. Um, so it depends on whether that Mark and I can attend. If we can attend, they will ship those things to us to our house. And we will lug it with us to Fostum. And because and the reason for that is because um uh CDF only has a budget to ship domestic. They cannot ship oh. international. So I will try to get Cloud Bees to uh, sponsor the international shipping. I don't think that would be a problem, but if we can figure out, you know, if whether that Mark and I are confirmed to go, then we'll take it with us. But if not, Bruno, then I'll probably have to ship it to your place. What do you think? Uh, yeah, of uh -oh. course. Uh, yeah, no, 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 just kidding. My pleasure. Um, you know, I'm searching for a station wagon, uh, you know, for my daily mm -hmm. use. And I think I will come to Brussels with uh, my new to me uh, station wagon in February. So send me everything you want or need mm. and it should fit the car. No problem. I won't come by train this year. Okay. I will probably send you what we will need at the stand only, not more than that, because you know, there's no place to store it and things like that. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Oh, so tr parking is going to be fun for you, right? With the station wagon? <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. My gosh. Okay. All right. Um, anything else on Boston? Okay. We're, we're in good shape then. Um, the election is still in progress. Well, we still are in the registration, the voter registration period. Um, last night I checked, we have about 70 people who registered. I have already reached out to the past GSOC contributors and mentors. So there was a little bit of a spike in that a couple weeks ago. Um, but I will follow up again to those who hasn't uh, registered. Um, and then we'll also send out a tweet soon too. But anything that we should add there, Kevin, for voter registration and voting? Uh, nothing that I can think of off the top of my head. I know the call has just been to share and share and share that the registration's open and make sure people are aware and how to and how to register. So as long as we're doing that, we're on the right track. Okay. 
Okay. And then, so, and then the last item, Bruno, I will let you walk us through that. Oh, yes. Thank you. So at the end of September, I was in Vienna for the, how was it called? The open source, Linux open source conference, something like that. Something organized mm -hmm. by the Linux Foundation, Linux mm -hmm. Foundation Open Source Summit or something like that. It was three days of conferences and there were also some satellite conferences around the main um, the main conference. So you could sometimes attend some conferences that were uh, not in the main program, but from other conferences. And that was pretty awesome, uh, to say the truth. And then the fourth day, you only had some summits, some very specific summits. All the main conferences were done. And so the CDF, the CDF have something called uh, the CDF mini summit. So it was half a day on the Thursday afternoon where people from the CDF or people who, yeah, people from the CDF or people within the organization that are part of the CDF, like Tecton, uh, CD Events or Jenkins. So these people were giving some talks and my proposal, my talk proposal um, was accepted. So I was able to uh, say something about um, the last year uh, GSOC project where we revamped the existing Jenkins tutorials. Um, about Maven, Python, Node, and whatever. So I had 20 something minutes to tell about uh, our process and I had a great time. I don't know if that's the case for the audience, but <laughs> I enjoyed it quite a lot. I, I, I see Olivier uh, in that front row there. Yes, he was uh, representative for the um, CDF because they were not uh, allowed to travel or they weren't able uh. to be there on the day. So he was one of the um, um, committee that showed the talks and he was mm. also the only one from the CDF uh, representing the CDF uh, there. This uh. day. Oh, okay. Cool. Did you make a spiel for uh, mentors? Oh, what sorry? But we want mentors. We 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 want mentors in our GSOC program. Yeah. Uh yes. In the end, I had a call to action where I wanted people to help with testing the tutorials, being a mentor for GSOC, and things like that. Yeah. Cool. Oh, cool. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for representing us. Um. Okay. I think that's it. That's all I have. Is there anything else that anybody has? Okay, we're good. All right. Thank you all. Have a great one. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay healthy. Bye. Bye.